Hey there everybody, Parks Aza here, and I'm joined by FlyQuest, Power of Evil, after the devastating loss here at the very end. Uh, almost came yep. back with a reverse sweep against TSM today in the finals. FlyQuest, second finals now this year, but it's been about an hour or so after the series ended, so what's kind of going through your head right now? Um, obviously we're still, we're still trying to, you know, eat it all up because it was such a long day we started like obviously finals around like one and ended around maybe like seven or seven thirty or something it was very very late and there was a lot of chaotic stuff going on right like we started oh two we had this like one hour pause because our adc doesn't have internet or like no power in the apartment and yeah it was sad in the end i would say sad in the end yeah, definitely sad. I think um, a lot of fans are sad. I know you guys have done a lot to uh, grow the brand this year. We could talk about that in a little bit, but um, it was definitely an entertaining series. It was really fun that you guys did get to come back. Um, you know, bummer that it didn't work out in the end. Can you talk to me a little about the second game? Um, there's been a really big discussion kind of going around, like, should it have been remade? Uh, should it have just been Chrono Break? Should they have redone Draft? Uh, like, what do we even make of this game? Um, obviously, we didn't even have full information because of when they pause it. Uh, so it was just like kind of weird on our end. And we're kind of operating with like, uh, what happened uh, there? So w what kind of went down for you all? What was the discussion like when the pause happened? Um, no, I don't I don't think the game should have been remade. I don't think the game should have been corner break. I think it was pretty fair handled. Um, what you guys didn't see is when we paused the game, it was 1 6 and kills. I think top and bot lane just died. So that's when actually the pause happened. It was when we have 1 to 6 and kill score and they were about to take a turret or something. So the reason why we actually initially paused the game was because uh, our support thought there was like a Pantheon bug where he actually accidentally ulted on the spot. And that was the initial pause for. So we figured that out, found out it was actually not a bug, it was just actually just a misclick. And then randomly Vitrell DC'd. So he called, I think, our manager on the phone saying like, he doesn't have power. So that's why this went to like an hour long break because we needed to transition all this gear to the gaming house and bring him here, I guess. So there was no reason to chrono break. Mm. Um, it was a really fair handle situation, I feel like. There were maybe other stuff in the past, but you know, I feel like I feel like that there's it's good that you asked because I feel like there's sometimes, you know, discussions worthy stuff about these chrono breaks or these pauses, but I feel like this was a really fair handled one and mm -hmm. these are no no further diligence. Mm -hmm. No, that's good to hear. Um I know I yeah, for us it was kind of hard to operate. I personally was like, they need to remake it. It's not fair. <laughs> I felt so bad for Turtle, who's like, I actually walked outside during it and was like, nope, nope, it's hot. No, I want to go back in. So oh, I, you, oh, oh, are you meaning like we should remake because it's so weird to come out yeah. one hour? It's definitely... Like, think about from Turtle's perspective. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely something really weird because... um, How do I explain? It's like... I don't think that this ever happened. So both teams had time to. Okay, no, I don't think both teams had the same fan. I guess the same. I would say like efficiency on talking about the yeah. next three four minutes because exactly there's uh, multiple things. There's one white turtle and this one hour is obviously traveling to us. So we have four players talking about the game and we have four players talking about what we can do in the next two three minutes and they have five. So it's a small advantage, but I wouldn't say it's too big. I feel the, the bigger thing is that since when the pause hit, they are 6-1. They're in a driver's seat now, so they are having the... How do you call it? Like They have the next five, three, four minutes that they can plan ahead and talk about like what they want to do, what they can do. And we are more on the seat where we need to talk about are we going to contest this now because we're that far behind? Are we going to fight this? Do we Should we scale? We don't really have that much agency in this discussion or in this conversation so it's definitely a little bit i guess like obviously in favor of tsm but i wouldn't say mm -hmm. it was a big big deal i feel like how that how it played out was actually kind of surprising i think they gave us herald <laughs> i don't know why and i'll be actually expected them to like plan ahead 
like <laughs> Bart was running there. We were thinking that they're gonna run there, get the Herald. And we were planning on maybe fighting the dragon, but it didn't really play out that way. So it was kind of surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I felt so bad for Turtle to have to like. After traveling, he sits yeah. down. And he's like, "Wait, we're 15 minutes into this game. I just got dove bought, and they used, they just used an hour-long yeah. CC chain on me with every ult." Um, yeah, it's. it's it, I, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Like, well, one hour traveling, like setting up all the new stuff, getting back into the chair, and then like, oh, I guess we went back in, guys. So, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you guys made history today. You'll you'll be the first team to have a a traveling bot laner um, in the finals. Sure. Um, so obviously, I mean, despite losing the series, what is your make on kind of the strength of the of the team and of the LCS in general? Kind of keeping in mind, like Golden Guardians looked really good at the end. Cloud Nine looked really bad. Do you feel like we sent the best three teams? Do you feel like the best three teams are seated correctly? Um, well, I definitely think we deserve, like, we deserve first or second. Like, I feel like TSM played better today, so congrats to them, honestly. I feel like we had options to win today, but I feel like we didn't identify certain stuff well enough or fast enough, so I feel like they won these, like, honestly, like, they just deserve one the game, the series, and, but I still think, obviously, like, we deserve second place. We won against Cloud9, we won against TL. Um, we had this really close series against TSM, so I feel like it's not undeserved that we are second second place at all. And I think um, TL third place. I feel like is a, I feel like they're a strong team, and I think if they can make it through players, it's gonna help them a lot. So I feel <laughs> like right now this whole region should anyway work together and not against each other, since like now we're in Edwards, you know, we should try to like you know fight together, you know. Yeah, no, I'd love to see that for sure. Um, was what was the zillion thought? Was Victor kind of the one thing that you prepared? Because I, you know, everyone is of course expecting like, well, Bjergsen's going to be playing this. Was that like oh. maybe the Victor? Well, out of my experience, I remember I played Victor a few times against him in the past. Uh, Victor against Zillion, and I think I did that in EO2. I think it's a pretty good matchup, and it has a lot of agency in mid game because the idea is that if the enemy AD carry runs it, you just kind of one combo him down and you have the same range or a little bit more range than the zillions so you have like a lot of damage i think the game was kind of just we just had no no good draft honestly mm. problem is that bot lane was getting pushed in top lane was getting pushed in so just minute matchup i would say is in a 50 50 state but now of these two matchups or these two side lanes getting pushed in but then it's automatically kind of getting pushed in so we had like three years like not losing lanes but like Kind of AFK sitting back, relax the relaxing lanes. And then additionally, we had the farming jungler with the graves. So now, if you look at our draft, which is, I think, Victor, L uh, Lux, Victor, Graves, Caitlyn, mm -hmm. we have like no real engage. Our engage is like Lux binding mm -hmm. and on, but our on was, I think, really far behind that game, if I remember yeah. correctly. So he wasn't really tanky. So at these dragons fights, it's like, what do we do? Like, how do we engage on them? They had Karma Zillion. You don't. I don't really get any setup as Victor. Like, it's kind of like I felt like I needed to like kind of like run in and like laser them away, <laughs> but it's like not enough. So, yeah, I feel like first game was just not a good draft. Not a good draft. <laughs> um, I think not. I think not. <laughs> yeah, that, it was definitely tough. I was just curious about the rest of the series. Obviously, you kept banning the Zillion. Was it you just decided it's better to keep him off of it? Um, I felt like it's obviously like one of the strongest team styles. I feel like they 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 do really good around the Zillion, and I don't know. I feel like we decided as a team that. We should just ban it since they're, they're, they're really good on it. Like, I think Bergson's really good on it. So, we just decided to ban that and hop for other matchups and try out other matchups. And I feel like we I feel like identified later on the series, too late, that I feel like they, I think Broken Blade was doing a really, really good job at them or like in the series. And I feel like we should have maybe targeted, I feel like, top lane a little bit more with like mm. four or five bans or something like this. Mm, yeah. Um, so I know you said that you wanted to work together now that we're going to Worlds and we're like a region, yeah. 
But if you could give advice to the other teams that are gonna meet Bjergsen, uh-huh. would it just be ban the zillion or would it be find some weird counter pick to play into it? I don't know. I still think that Zolian is not like that like unbalanced champion. I still think Zolian I feel like Zolian is like this really particular style. He he buffs your teammates, it makes your teammates strong and if you walk into him he's gonna be really annoying because he's gonna slow your GLP. He's gonna it's kinda like Timo where you like have all these shrooms but it's like bombs instead. So I feel like he's really strong, but I don't think he's uncounterable and I feel like these skinny mages could be really good against them if the overall comp is good, you know, like maybe having like if he had more engaged bot lane or like a stronger jungler, like a stronger ganking jungler, I feel like this could have been different for us. Mm. Um, I could maybe see other teams as well go for like something like Cassadon or something and just destroy him on the sideline. But teams definitely should watch out, you know, like <laughs> that, like that is at all. You should like they need to be ready for it because most likely they're going to pick it no matter what. So yeah, I think if they're ready. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, thanks. Uh, do you have any thoughts about not getting a loss? Because you guys actually ran through the entire winner's okay, bracket. What? Not getting a loss. Um, oh. Because TSM lost against Golden Guardians, and then they made it up. But technically, this was your first loss. So really, you're like sitting there even. Um. Well... I guess we had that in Spring Split, right? Where we went down all the way and then in the first round, and then we made it all the way, all the way to the Grand Finals. Sadly, we obviously lost there as well. Mm-hmm. So um, we had, I would say, somewhat in nice path, you know, like in the upper bracket with winning all our matches. So it was, what can I say? Yeah. It was a nice way there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I know in other esports, um, they'll give. The winner like if it happened like this they would let the winner then they would just have a another rematch but i think those are those are like two hour long games not like i don't know our series is five hour long or whatever since you guys didn't have a loss in the playoffs until this series i think in other esports like in fighting games or whatever they'll just be like all right cool play again like do another big series but like oh, really? they don't last like you know up to five yeah. or six hours. <laughs> sound like that would be like a good thing. I feel like yeah. just side selection would be. I feel like it's already the best thing. Mm-hmm. It would have been kind of weird. I heard that if TL would have won against TSM, they would have had side selection. So I feel like that would have been really strange yeah. to me. Yeah, like not losing a series. <laughs> and being fun. But, but, yeah, I said. I think it just. I think just um, getting the side selection is obviously like. I think the fairest and the, the that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's fair. Um, anyway, super impressive run from you guys. Uh, what What are your thoughts about best mid laners? Obviously, I think it's really interesting that you, Jensen, and Bjergsen are the three going to Worlds, and you were the three voted in All Pro. Um, you also were on the MVP ballot, but didn't make it past like top five which i talked to santorin about and he was like we deserve top five um so what what are your thoughts about mvp of the split oh, wait what did, what did santorin say we deserve top five he, like you know to be in a race you mean in the yeah end, yeah until the end yeah he uh-huh. just said you and he were undervalued when when looking at like the 10 that made it and then you were both in the first five eliminated um well i agree that i feel like we should have made like a longer run i guess we i think we dropped out the same time like mm-hmm. i feel like we dropped out at one point really fast so uh that was definitely weird but i feel like uh, it kind of is what it is what it is it is like somewhat a popularity war too right <laughs> and um i think if you are like i feel like you just i feel like we kind of showed what we're capable of um making it to finals last split and spring split and now making it through the upper bracket into the grand finals again and obviously like getting the finals to five games and i feel like obviously like beating out on the other mid laners on the way right i feel like uh, i could really show what i was capable of and you know drawing certain bands playing my style i feel like it's obviously now in the end i think it's it's really hard to tell who really the best mid laner is i think it's has so many different factors and it's so hard to tell because I feel like if you look at right, if you look at the last series, I think I just played against Bjergsen. I feel like we have really completely different playstyles. Where he's kind of playing the TF and the Zillion, and I was playing the 
Ozzy Oriana. It's kind of different in completely different paths, kind of, you know, where you're going. Mm -hmm. So it would be more easier for like to compare, I don't know, like Midland, like me, maybe with Jensen, because we're kind of playing the same style or, I don't know, comparing like my style to like maybe a Korean Midliner that plays my champions. Mm. Yeah, it's a good point. Speaking of Korean mid laners, uh, and just mid laners in general around the world, we're going into Worlds next. That's where we're going to see you next. If you could just yeah. choose your groups, who would you choose just based on matchups purely? Just based on like having fun at Worlds, kind of playing against certain people? I would choose Rogue. To meet up against Hansama with Igna. Oh, okay, I okay. Feel, I feel like that would be hilarious. Um, I feel like that would be really fun mashing up against him. I feel like it would just be really fun. I feel like it would be fun. And I'm trying to think what else. Um, obviously, besides that, I don't really feel like I would like choose certain teams. I feel like I'm just happy that we are adverts and I can face the best of the best and show what I'm capable of. And I feel like. Whoever said Worlds is obviously really, really f***ing good, so... Um, yeah, just facing off against Midlanders like Chovy or Showmaker and seeing how I match up against them. Similar to 2017 when I faced Faker, I would be obviously the dream and making it like close-ass games, um, trying our best, giving 120% and hopefully we can um, represent and make this region proud. Yeah. How many teams from NA get out of groups this year? I don't even know the group's draw yet. That's, that is, that's, that what is such a trick all question. Right, all right, all right. So it's like, it's impossible to say. Um, I think we're going to try our best. I feel like there's legit zero expectations on us. Uh, I feel like from everything that I've heard, from everything I've seen, um, it just kind of looks like everyone expects every 19, 19 to go 0 6. So honestly, we can only make it better. <laughs> I feel like we can yeah. only uh, um, make it better and I think it's similar to our run of Misfits. I feel like when we were in Misfits, people thought we would be losing this group stage as well. Or we would be losing the groups to like World Elite, TSM and Flash Wolves and I feel like we made it out and hopefully we can make it this time too. Hopefully we can um, uh, uprise the expectations and uh, succeed. Mm -hmm. Man, you've got the fish tank behind you and you wouldn't even take the bait. Oh, I'm just, I'm so sad. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, of course, best of luck. Uh, I'm excited for sure. I know it's a different world this year. Uh, lastly, before we go, any uh, anything you want to say to fans and anything that you hope from the fans? You guys made it all the way to the final second time in a row this year. Um, anything you're hoping to see from people rooting on FlyQuest? Um, well... I would say, obviously, thank you for all, for, for all the support. And I hope you guys are not too upset for like back to back finals was a success. Even so, it's probably going to be bittersweet in the next couple of days. I can understand that. It's the same for us. And besides that, um, obviously, like, I hope you guys cheers on the worlds. I feel like there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of people who say we're going to just get 06. So I feel like just nice messages, messages for me or my team would be really helpful. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, well, thank you so much for the interview. Um, best of luck in the next couple of days leading up to your travel. Best of luck staying sane yeah. in the quarantine. For sure. Play some league, enjoy the uh, Chinese solo queue, and yeah. represent us well at Worlds. Um, I'll do that. For all of you watching, thank you so much. Uh, we will catch you next time.